Caria japonica is a plant that I don't think I've ever actually used in a landscape. I got it more as a novelty thing, but the reason I got it was because Caria japonica can survive deep shade and drought conditions. You know, if you've got like a courtyard where nothing's gonna grow, this is the plant for, for planting there. So I want you to notice that where I'm planting my caria is, you know, there's sugar maples overhead. There's one there and then there's another one right here. So you're in the roots of a sugar maple and they are thriving. And that's the most important thing, you know, shade, drought, caria. If you gotta do something. I mean, honestly, if somebody called me and said, John, I need a garden in an area like this, I'd probably say there's nothing you can do, but since it's my house, why not give it a shot? But uh, that's where you're gonna use your Caria japonica. Caria japonica has green stems, so it is going to lose its leaves in the winter and just be these green twigs sticking out of the ground. And then it does, you know, it does have a pleasant foliage to it. Um, this clump should have been cut back. The way, I've never done this, but I did read up on it, and the way you, you prune caria is you just cut the whole plant down like six inches from the ground right after it blooms, and that'll rejuvenate it. And that's what, uh, that's what we're gonna do this year. Uh, fall color, I, I think it turns yellowish color, but you'd have to look online for pictures. But it's really, you know, it's gorgeous. What, right now it's the first week of May. It's gorgeous for the first week of May. Maybe it'll bloom for a couple weeks. And then it kind of blends into the background. But if you have, you know, foliage that looks like this blending, where otherwise you'd be looking at, it looks like I've got some plywood back there for a fence. Uh, I think it's a, it's a nice option. Uh, there is a double flowered form of this. I believe it's called Caria japonica floor plena. I'll put the name here. So you can get this as a double flower as well. Uh, in my experience, when I planted the double flower, it hasn't been quite as vigorous as the single flower. Um, but you know, it, it can't hurt. It can't hurt to give it a try. So this here, uh, again, this is uh, Caria japonica, common name Japanese Caria. Thanks for watching, folks.